Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. You may know me from videos about the internet's favorite math topic, the order of operations. It seems that students today have tremendous difficulty with the order of operations. But I'm here to tell you, don't blame social media. I want to present a problem that gave students difficulty in the pre-internet days. This is a question that was given to 17 to 18 year old students in America in the year 1992. What is 3 to the power of 3 plus 4 parentheses 8 minus 5 close parentheses divided by 6 equal to? This is a multiple choice question. The choices are A, 6.5, B, 11, C, 27.5, D, 29, and E, 34.16. Calculators are allowed on the question. From a survey done in 1992, 71% of students gave the wrong answer. So how do we figure out this question? Let's work it out. One way to work through the order of operations is to use the acronym PEMDAS. This refers to evaluating parentheses first, then exponents, then do multiplication and division, and finally do addition and subtraction. You may have also learned the acronym BODMAS, in which parentheses has the corresponding word brackets and exponents has the corresponding word orders. If you have two operations of the same precedence, you want to evaluate from left to right. First, we have a parenthetical expression of 8 minus 5. This is equal to 3, so we'll substitute in. Then we have an exponent of 3 to the power of 3. That's equal to 27. Finally, we have a multiplication of 4 times 3, and we want to divide this by 6. So we have a multiplication and a division. So we have two operations of the same precedence, so we'll evaluate from left to right. 4 times 3 is equal to 12, so we'll substitute in. Then 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2, so we'll substitute in. Finally, we want to add 27 and 2, and we get the correct answer of 29. Before I get to how students responded, let me give a brief note about the use of the division symbol. The government of Australia actually has a style guide in which the section on division and multiplication states the following. You can use the mathematical symbol for the division sign or the division slash to show division. People sometimes use the forward slash to show division as well. In most cases, it's best to use the division sign. The division slash is easily confused with the forward slash, which is also used to show alternatives. So there are valid reasons to use the division symbol, and we should all understand how to evaluate it properly. So where did students go wrong? The correct answer is D29. But here's how the students responded. 40% gave the wrong answer of 6.5, and the next wrong answer was 34.16 at 15%. After that, it was the answer of 11 with 10%, and the answer of 27.5 at 5%. A small percentage of students, 2%, omitted the question altogether. Now for fun, I did a poll on YouTube which got 41,000 responses. Overwhelmingly, 89% gave the correct answer of D. So where did they go wrong? How did they get the wrong answer? Well, 29% were able to get the correct answer. But let's look at 6.5. They may have done the following. If they did the addition first and then divided by 6, they would get the answer of 6.5. In other words, they took everything to the left of the division symbol as the numerator and they took 6 as the denominator. The next incorrect choice would be because students concatenated the 4 and the 3 together to get 43 instead of multiplying them. The next common mistake was by taking 3 times 3 instead of 3 to the power of 3. The final mistake was by omitting the 4 before the parentheses. It's interesting to learn the ways in which students struggle with the order of operations. So I will continue to make videos from time to time until hopefully everyone will get the correct answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.